Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> this is Damage Control. We're so happy to be at Millie Ray's this morning. I am Trevor Crow Molyneux, and of course, this the fabulous Jill Fitzgerald. Oh, and the, I have to introduce you next time. Oh, yeah. You always introduce me that way, and I'm just like <laughs> basking in it. And we have the fabulous Cheryl, Cheryl, um, Segal, Cheryl Segal, Segal, who's the owner of Millie Ray's. Yeah, so you've known for years, and the store just keeps getting more and more awesome all the time. <laughs> um, so first of all, um, just stay tuned because Cheryl's going to be telling us how to um, holiday decorate our mantles, which I always found to be one of the most difficult things to really pull together and make it look really good. And just so you know, we've been like shopping this morning. <laughs> I am wearing. Cheryl's stuff here. This is the most gorgeous blazer, right? It's machine washable. I cannot yeah. believe that. I know. Yeah. That it cute? looks like a million bucks. I and have to I'm say, all her jewelry. Look at this fabulous necklace. Yeah, well, you you to look. Lock, you, lock look <laughs> <laughs> you look super classy. Thank yeah, you. Cheryl decorated us before. She decorated <laughs> yeah. the mantle, which means if she saw us when we came in, we needed a little decorating. Uh -huh. But tell us about this jacket. So oh. this is this is also le this is leather that's also this machine is, washable. Yeah, real leather. It's machine washable. We love and, that. Yep, the company is called Jacket. They're out of Long Island. And what do you do? Just throw it in the hang it up you to dry, it, or you hang it up to dry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it turns out like a dream. It gets softer and softer over it's the course. It's already of really soft. Time. Yeah, gorgeous. gorgeous. It's amazing. And a couple of years ago, I bought a scarf by this company, which mm -hmm. I've worn a million times, mm -hmm. and they make the most beautiful silks too. Yeah. This is one of our favorite designers. Johnny was there out I of love California. The tassels. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Johnny. It's a big was. square. So it's got four tassels on each side. So. Um, they really add a lot to any outfit. And you, okay, I have to say this because this is, I'm really jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna be, these are faux leather leggings hey, from the here. I, yeah. I, we had even talked about this before, how your leggings are the best fitting leggings yes. and people drive from mm -hmm. long, far away to mm -hmm. get your leggings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I mean, it's not really fair to model them on Trevor because, <laughs> yeah, they because the standards are, you know, you raise the no. bar. But <laughs> honestly, I was saying to you, like that is the perfect any all day right meetings in new york in. anything yeah. go like this in your boots and then just bring a change of shoes for the mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. or for me and by the way I, <laughs> i'm feeling really short right now because i'm not wearing my heels and jill as she's looking so fabulous but we know so. that really i'd be here <laughs> <laughs> so to be fair yeah. so anyways um the store is amazing yes Thank you. and um do you want to start with the decorations yeah, I think and then we we'll kind of get to decorating mm -hmm. um so cheryl has amazing decorations for the holidays um, to start with, I think we're going to talk about the mantle behind us. So yes. mm -hmm. Jill and I are going to step to the side a little bit, and okay. you're going to lead us through how to pull the look together. Great. Um, welcome to Millie Ray's. We're at 1799 Post Road East in Westport, Connecticut. We've been here for eight years wow. and had the pleasure of awesome. serving this awesome community. So today we're going to talk about decorating our fireplace mantle. Many of us have fireplaces in our homes, whether they're in the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the family room. Um, during the holidays, they're often the focal point of all the things that are happening. So just to start, I did something really simple here. Really easy for someone who feels challenged when they're um, so pretty. Um, thinking when about like what, to do, <laughs> <laughs> what to do for the holidays. So these are our white feather trees, and I just chose all one tree, Mm -hmm. um, different heights, laid it out across the mantle with our fun little um, holiday lights. And these are on a timer, so these stay on for They're eight so hours pretty. and then they go off automatically. Oh, I think I could even do this. <laughs> yeah, I think I could. And it's um, so modern. Yeah, I love it that is. it looks really modern and fresh. Right. Yeah. And super simple. So the trees come in three different sizes. And I um, wanted to do the lower trees in the center since I have this beautiful painting that's done by one of our local artists. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to obstruct oh, that, that too much. It just adds like extra frame mm -hmm. and yes. highlighting yes. to that so, painting. Um, there, it's n not exactly symmetrical, mm -hmm. but close. The right side has a similar weight to the left side, and I kept the trees in the center low so you could still see the artwork, and then I added these cool um, holiday ornaments that are filled with feathers, so actually. Pretty. So, so the um, whole monochromatic thing is is so gorgeous and chic. easy in like any decor. Yeah. yeah, and you definitely need different heights, right? You need to right. m um, mix up the heights, but also there's textures here. Yeah, texture is very yeah. important. Yeah. And if you didn't have a painting above, would you, you know, move it around that the taller ones maybe some just kind of be a little more? Well, you're definitely going to have something mm -hmm. above mm -hmm. your fireplace. So if there's mm -hmm. a mirror, maybe right. we put a wreath on the mirror right. and do and a similar do thing this underneath. Frame it yeah. around. That'd be really pretty. Um, and you can always add a personal touch. You can hang your stockings or 
maybe add a little, you know, some little animals if you're you have children and your so um, kids Beautiful. like that sort of whimsy. I think I'm going to take the initiative this year because my mm -hmm. husband thinks is Santa Claus and he collects <laughs> not my favorite, very traditional. Um, I like this look so okay. much more, and so if you. It's so if, I, if I put this up, I think he'll be thrilled. <laughs> well, you know, and then he won't have to go looking for the boxes, and I'll be happy. I love this. And I also have to say, so I'm in mixed marriage. I'm, I've mm -hmm. said this before, I'm Jewish. I didn't grow up. I always grew up admiring everyone's Christmas decorations, mm -hmm. but I never really had the knack or learned. And um, so I think, like, even I could do this. And I also think it just kind of works with almost any... Any color scheme, yeah. Any, yeah. any, any color scheme, any house. background, anything you it's practice. More, it's just yeah, holiday. Exactly. It's more a uh, winter wonderland, right? Oh, I like than that. specific to any um, mm -hmm. faith or religion. Yeah. It's so, so pretty, but yeah. it's also could be so chic and yes. modern. Yeah. yeah. And the thing about holiday yeah. decorations is they change and evolve the same mm -hmm. way our fashion does. Mm -hmm. So what we were doing twenty I years ago about that really <laughs> isn't right? necessarily the same as what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I <laughs> well, I think a lot of us go upstairs and we pull out our boxes that we've had from last year, mm -hmm. and we pull out the same stuff and we put it up. And it sometimes it's starting to look a little sad, a little a little dusty, not right, so right, fresh right. anymore. Yeah. And and of course, maybe dated. So it's kind of fun to like step right. out and do something different. So do you want to? Should so we I'm going to pull all style? this down. You we'll guys chat, chat for a few more minutes. Or if people have their comfort zone, they love yeah. their you know their especially kids like to see sometimes the same things maybe one yeah. room or yeah. two or, and yeah. you could have one room that you make a little more with, like move into this sort of a look if right. this is what you like I just I would be excited just to have this because I think my living room would just look more beautiful whether it was yeah. a can I keep it up all year <laughs> yeah. yeah this is so pretty these really ornaments gorgeous. are amazing so it looks like the basis is you you need to start with the little lights yeah love to have lights uh -huh. on the mantle. Oh, the other thing that are great about these for storage is they nest. Oh. So, whoop, takes up are we no keeping space. these up for the yeah. nest? We're going to keep those up. Yep. Okay. So while we... <laughs> <laughs> while Cheryl gives us okay, our next there we go. tutorial, which... We're right. done with these. How do we that would look really pretty in your apartment, yes. all those whites. I, I, well, I don't have a mantle. Yeah, but on the coffee table. Oh, I could do the coffee table. What about like yeah. the the graduated trees on the coffee table or, or something gorgeous. like that? Would be gorgeous. Know. Or, or a, you know, yeah. a mirror or something like that. All right, so step one is have the lights already there. Yes. <laughs> right? And, yeah. can and then you work get around the, it. You can Cheryl, can you the buy the lights here? You can buy the lights oh, okay. here. Can you get the lights here? here? They're 10 feet long. Mm -hmm. um, they're the LED lights, so they're going to last 60,000 hours. Wow. <laughs> which I think is a, I think that's, that's, a a lot of Christmas. Christmas. that's a lot of Christmases. I think it's 10 Christmases if you leave the lights on all the time. You so know what these lights are? Pieces, you put this like, swag thing on there. Yes. So those are, what are those called? So um, this is garland. Garland. Mm -hmm. And Excuse it's me. all wired. Uh -huh. So you can. It already um, looks great. You can move all the berries yeah. so, so they pretty. can hang down a little bit. Um, but we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna do something a little it's more dramatic and Ooh. elegant. This is our giant sparkle Ooh, I tree. I have a silver tree. I maybe do. I'll do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe I'll do. Maybe I will do preemptive two mantles. <laughs> so yeah, two mantles. Well. Two mantles. I'm gonna You're do something. Like I'm feeling it. Motivated now. Well, I'm excited because I yeah. don't always love the other. So okay. Ones we have. <laughs> Starting with the lights on the mantles, the little little LED lights. Then you put the the garland up, and now Cheryl's putting up the little trees. Actually, that was quite large. large. All right, here, we'll swap yeah. places. How's Look that? how pretty that so is. So we're going to do something oh, that's a little gorgeous. symmetrical here. We'll mm -hmm. do the big that's trees beautiful on too. either side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wrap this garland around. So uh -huh. You know those lights? I was going to say a lot of... Um, a lot of people, for a lot of reasons, but I know a lot of college girls love those kind of lights mm -hmm. up in their room. Mm -hmm. That's a great thing to buy. I know, they're so for, cute. Just to give as a gift yeah. or stocking stuffer or something like that That's because they're idea. cuter than the usual ones Sorry, that I see. Actually. They're like a little tiny bit sparkly. Ooh, look at these. I love these. Yeah, we're going to put like our... Now we're in oh, silver. The reindeer. <laughs> so we're staying we're monochromatic, so right? We're, yep. we're, we're in the keeping silver our, metallic we're keeping the silver trend. Look at how easy this is. We have these two beautiful oh, reindeers. Oh, look how nice that, that looks. So cute. We're going to nestle these right in. This is how to get that like cool, a very fresh glam reindeer. Look. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> really. <laughs> glam Serious glam. Yeah. Bling. You should reindeer. put some of the gorgeous jewelry in the store around them. Yeah, yeah well, that will definitely happen as time goes by. Oh, like a different tree. So then I'm going to add oh, some other so trees for a little different texture uh -huh. and some other sizes. This little silver bottle oh, brush gosh. tree. 
I think you just got to come right over. Cheryl's oh going to get you done. This is so in. much fun. You're yeah. ready. So will you help people if they come in and say, yeah. I want to do my mantle similar, but can you add a little in? Will you, can you Absolutely. look a few yeah. things up here? Somebody um, here can help them. <clears throat> two measurements that are important, the length of your mantle uh, and measure. the depth. First measure. And oh, no. also, <laughs> we need to kind of know what's happening up above. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They should maybe take a picture. Picture's good, and a couple measurements, mm -hmm. and then we are ready. That is great. That oh, looks great. You, is there a budget that people should think about? Maybe. You know what? We mm -hmm. have a very wide range of prices mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So um, In everything, which yeah. is cool. Yes, everything. in everything. Um, so you tell me what your budget is, and we'll work within that. Good. Um, mm -hmm. I know this isn't for that, but I just have to say I love this. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> because so I love beautiful. turquoise, and this is such a pretty ornament. Gorgeous. Everything in here is just so delightful yeah, to walk in this really store. Fun. It's eye candy everywhere you glance. Mm. Plethora. Thank you. Yeah, but for me, oh, I needed to see this done. Anyway. I needed to see it happen, yeah. and now I get it. <laughs> so. well, well, Jill and I are going to take a bunch of really close-up photos of this mantle because it looks just just stunning right now. Right. I think it's a little far away for you to see on the camera this second. Um, Every detail, but, but we can we'll go really close absolutely up. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Look how cute these are. Those okay. Are so yeah, I wanted fun. to put in a couple of little ornaments yeah. that. Um, the children might enjoy. This has got a little squirrel inside, this little bird in the nest. And That's adorable. We can or you keep might on have going. something that uh, works from your tree yes, that would look so exactly, cute. Exactly. And, and you can like combine yeah. traditional your traditional things, yeah. I know. So I love um, this. Jen Bonsell Nickel is saying, I keep the living room vintage and traditional and the family room monochromatic with a modern feel for me. Millie Ray's is my go to. Love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so nice. And Jill Kelsey yeah, says, need... Good morning, ladies. Hi, Joe. Good morning. <laughs> Joe, come in here and do your mantle. Yeah. <laughs> it really is yeah. gorgeous. Not surprising, but I, like I said, have, watching you do this, mm -hmm. it makes so much sense. And I'm even thinking of some of the things. It, I mean, I'm sure people have some things that they can incorporate and right. buy. Right. It was so these easy. Guys, these guys, yeah. and they're Beautiful. done. A couple minutes. Yeah. You're Beautiful. finished. Awesome. Right. And right. you love having your friends over for a little, you know, hot wine or malt cider. Right? It does add so much to your yeah. decor. Yeah. yeah. Makes you feel good. Party. <laughs> party. <laughs> We're ready for so the party. <laughs> this was Thanks great. so we much. A lot. All right. And You're everybody welcome. out there, you want to decorate for the holidays, come to Millie Ray's and ask Cheryl what to do. Two measurements, the length and the width right. of your mantelpiece. And a photo. And oh, a, no, photo, no, no, a, a photo would yeah. be helpful. Yeah. And while you're here, check yeah. out these leggings <laughs> and all of our washable right. jackets. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's all right. Feeling good. Terrific. I'm going to sneak off. Okay, and you thanks guys so chat. much. Good. Okay. Thanks, Cheryl. All right. Oh God, so, what did you do about this? So I went to Nashville last yeah. weekend, and can I say, uh -huh. it is, have you ever been there? I've been to Nashville once to see Vanderbilt with Olivia, oh. and it's so much fun there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I, for anyone who hasn't, and I know it's like the big bachelorette place now, I, oh. I saw so many girls uh -huh. with a little veil, <laughs> and about 10 girlfriends, but there are so many, it's a great girls week, and it's yeah. great mm -hmm. to go with anybody, really, mm -hmm. because it's so easy, you walk to everything. Yeah. And um, they, to all they, they were filming Nashville in the lobby of our hotel, oh, so which fun. was really fun. So it fun. took like about three hours for a one minute take, but it was really cool. But you literally walk bar to bar, you find the music that you like, you mm -hmm. don't pay a cover, they walk mm -hmm. around with a tip bucket, unless you're going to like the big mm -hmm. concert venue. And so you can just keep doing that all afternoon, all so night. Great. The food is great, the shopping's awesome. great. It's it was really, fun. really fun. I feel like I wish I'd had this outfit. This would have been perfect. <laughs> That's all yeah, you need. You you're just there. you're just walking around. You can kind of push the envelope a little, put on your cowboy hat or boots, mm -hmm. which is fun too, mm -hmm. I think. And so um, oh and my then you God, see all this young it. talent, right? That's one of the fun things is you can walk into any of these bars and these young people are singing. We heard this one woman. Amazing. It was like we had yeah. scalp tingles. She was so good. Uh, like so th and, and they are literally yeah. performing there for free, looking for people to find them and walking around with their right. little bucket afterwards and saying, like, we'll do a song for you if you put in five bucks or something. You can pick your song. Such and, an easy um, getaway, right? It was only a couple hour flight. And everything is within yeah. a mile walk. Like where Fast. we stayed, everything mm -hmm. was within you know, a five minute walk and then there's like another cool area kind of close mm -hmm. to Vanderbilt and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, well, it's down the road. <laughs> Maybe it took, so it would be like walking from 50th to 59th Street. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're it's doing. Awesome. So it's super fun. So this weekend I went to a really cool gala for the FTC Fairfield Theater Company. Oh, that's always supposed to be so, so great. Fun. Um, first of all, galas can be kind of stodgy. Mm -hmm. This is really hip and kind of cool. But overall, what FTC does for the town of Fairfield is so incredible and important. Right. They bring the arts, and this particular gala was really um, raising money to, for their education center. Oh, wow. so yeah, they're building I out some they have that. classrooms, and yeah, all for young musicians, uh, young or? musicians, people in the arts. Yeah, it's just so cool. They just keep 
getting better. They started, you know, I at know. the one place, and now this huge the warehouse place. is amazing. Yeah, I always hear that that's such a fun party. Just the best. So yeah, um, it's better FTC. than music to get you in the great mood. I'm sorry. I it's know. Like, Ghost like live music, and this is a smallish mm -hmm. venue, and these musicians loved stopping be between here and Boston because they're usually doing, you know, their tours. Right. And it's a great venue. They love to do it. It's very professional, but also fun for us. And you can take the train if you're from out of town, and you can watch all these. Literally, shows. the train door opens, and you're, you're there. You right fall there. into the place. <laughs> no, true. but it's true. It's awesome. And it's the best. And and that's what we kept saying. Like it puts you in the best mood. You know, yeah. Saturday afternoon at three o'clock. How often are you like walking mm -hmm. from a place to place, hearing music, mm -hmm. and it just changes everything. So great. Love and I, and I have to say thank you to um, Jill and Stanton Lesser for inviting me to stay at their to sit at their table. That was, was very wonderful. Smart of them. And you know, I got <laughs> to meet Deneen. Great, oh. who's owner of Little Pub, and we hope to broadcast from Little Pub pretty soon. Oh, I love her. Which would be really fun. Yeah. Um, and this is cool. I was wearing a a velvet jumpsuit by Jennifer Butler. And who designs was, in town. Yes. She, can, she makes custom. She makes custom right? clothes. And she um, loaned me this beautiful brown velvet um, jumpsuit, and it was really funny. The best compliment of the night, a gentleman was serving me a drink, and he goes, ooh, you look so soft. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. Anyway, should we talk about some news? <laughs> that gentleman better not be saying it in his place of work. Oh, that's true. That's true. Actually, Actually one weird thing about, uh -huh. I don't know what you want to get into first. We didn't discuss we this today. So but so much to One talk weird about. thing about Nashville, uh -huh. the only weird thing that uh -huh. I think, and in fact it's on the cover of that magazine, uh -huh. that word too, is their hockey team is called the Predators. Oh, and it's not a very a old problem. hockey team. Okay, it didn't. Uh -huh. It wasn't from you know 1956. Someone That's you know. Not a good name. A few years ago, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that wasn't there. Um, but I keep yeah. thinking the merchandise, predators, predators, and I I find it to be so odd. That's a little, <laughs> Which is too bad. They have this beautiful stadium. They're a really good team. Again, there's your hotel. There's a football stadium. Yeah. There's a hockey stadium. Everything's so close. They mm -hmm. would think that our commute from like downtown Fairfield to downtown Westport was probably wow. insane. Yeah. So, but. That's a little strange. A little strange. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of predators. Yes. Um, so uh, the, the Harvey Weinstein story slash um, oh, cascade of events that have occurred now. What? Where? I'm grabbing this. Gra oh, Jill this has something. To, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Jill has. So um, I think what's happened is we have this intense sea change that's occurring where women are feeling much safer and those who have been, it's not just women, um, sexually assaulted in their workplace, um, whether it's movies, uh, lawmakers on um, in Congress, mm -hmm. um, and just across the board, of course. Um, I, I mean, schools. It's it's everywhere, yeah, and it there. feels like the the floodgates just opened up, and everything's out there, which is so good. But you're hearing, I, I hear a lot of blowback, and of course, right. the blowback today is Roy Moore, which is the Alabama gentleman who's running for Senate, and he's being asked by his entire party, except for Alabama GOP to step out because but he, he had, doesn't want to. He does not want to. And <laughs> he's now he's at five Never met women. those people whose your book he signed, et cetera. Right. This is bad. So I think this is the tension there, which is the event evangelical, very Christian right, is saying, this guy didn't do anything. You can't believe the women. And then finally now, sort of in the big picture of the world saying, we're believing you women and we're gonna not make not let this well, continue. Well some of the evangelicals are speaking up now. Good. They are. Good. And again, I go uh -huh. back to, like I've said uh -huh. this to you before on here, mm -hmm. if you can put this in your own, you have to put it into your own view. So mm -hmm. if it's, let's say you have a senator, a congressman, a politician mm -hmm. that you adore, and you heard this about them, would you be willing to say, I don't care, I want my 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 um, party's line followed, and so I'm still voting for him, because mm -hmm. what would be worse than to have the other party? I'm sorry, I wouldn't. Well, good. <laughs> Although, of course, we had a gentleman um, in Alabama said, well, well, Joseph, who was an adult, ended up with Mary, who was right. a teenager at the time. But that's and such had, a travesty. That's, yeah. that's a travesty. I, I think it's very yeah. interesting. Yesterday mm -hmm. I was talking to this guy. His name is Dom McPherson, and he's coming to this very cool event at, mm -hmm. um, that we're doing from our foundation at the Paley Center. We have Center. to talk about this. We have to. Uh -huh. And what he said, he said, you know, I always talk about from, Ray, from OJ to Ray. Meaning, mm -hmm. when OJ, the whole OJ Simpson thing happened, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be this big moment for domestic violence. Mm -hmm. 20 years later, 20 exact years later, is the Ray Rice supposed right. to be this big moment for domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, now, the whole thing that's opening is supposed to be this big moment. He said, it doesn't happen like this, we evolve. We evolve. And I think he's right, and I think that's what you're saying, is that there's Come an evolution that a lot of people who've 
always been on this, you know, bandwagon are are feeling even more comfortable, and some people who never were are feeling more comfortable, and a lot of people are scared, so they're going to behave better, mm -hmm. don't you think? Yeah, well, I'm hoping so. I think what's interesting, too, and this is not just men, but women have said to me, we've had conversations over dinners and whatnot, well, why didn't she come forward earlier? Oh, my God. Um, what, what was wrong with her or oh him? Or, and this is the hardest part. It's just the system has really been stacked against women. I mean, I remember the first time this even came to light was really Anita Hill. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Well, 30? actually, actually, uh -huh. even bef around the time time of Anita Hill, going back to this thing, yeah. Paula Coughlin, mm -hmm. who basically was the whistleblower on the tailhook scandal in the army, oh, and she's right. also coming to our event because she was sort great. of the first person to speak up. Mm -hmm. The the what you get look at this poor woman who spoke out about um, Roy Moore and was crying about mm -hmm. her about the you know he's the one that signed the yearbook and crying. Do you know what kind of um, Aggravation and stress and, well, and feedback she's going to get from yes. the people down from people yes. down there who are going. I mean, it's terrifying right. and emotionally upsetting. And um, for most so people, they think, "Why? Why? Like, what's going to happen? Nothing's right. going to happen, anyways." Mm -hmm. But at this level, I guess mm -hmm. they felt like and Finally. seeing other women too, yeah. right? And um, I don't know if you saw the op-ed by Diana Nyad, mm -hmm. you know, Olympic swimmer. She had been uh, sexually abused for years by her coach. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's really, it's unfortunately horribly pervasive, yet we all know wonderful men, and thankfully there's Most, fewer, fewer, women, <laughs> fewer women that do this, but of course mm -hmm, they do, mm -hmm. um, that there are good people out there, and I think that really the, the key here is, is, is if you hear something, say something, just like anything else, for the men especially. Well, again, that's what our, our, yeah. so our event is called yeah. Man Up, and what it is mm -hmm. is we're trying to def redefine what Man Up means, which is not to be like tough and stoic and not mm -hmm. a sissy, and, but mm -hmm. rather that being a man is saying like, hey, that is completely not cool, do not mm -hmm. do that, or report something, or stop something. That is what is very strong. So tell everybody exactly what Man Up is, where it is, and when it is, because I'm going, and this is going to be very important. You have to go. I am beyond excited about Yay. this. Um, so actually, we're tr hoping this is the first in a series of, um, of events where we highlight what men need to do, what's important, what they have done, uh, again, to speak up and stand up for equality, just for equality and what's right. So we have a number of men that we'll be featuring who have for years done things on behalf of women and girls or have been a great role models in how young men are raised because honestly, you can ask them and to a T, they'll tell you for this to change, obviously women need to speak up, mm -hmm. but men need to change the conversation of what's okay and how they raise their sons mm -hmm. uh, and how women raise their sons too, what they say to them and what they um, and what they encourage. So for example, I was saying to somebody like, okay, with all the college assault mm -hmm. and everything like mm -hmm. that, most, I mean, 99% of guys would never do this. No, they're disturbed by it. But let's there. say they kind of see this happen. How many of them say to their friend, not cool, stop this, like, stop now. Or, I'm reporting you to the police. Yeah, or you got to yeah. cut, like, no, let me, t you know, let me take her home. Mm -hmm. Or check on the person the next day. Mm -hmm. And so it needs to be, there needs to be a lot of education about mm -hmm. that. And again, this is not going to be an overnight thing. This is going to be a slow so how, it, okay, so Man Up's going to be November 30th? November 30th at Paley yeah. Center in Paley the program Center. 6 to 7.15. There's Wait, where's the Paley Center? Oh, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> like everyone knows, of course. Um, the Paley Center for Media, which is uh, like, with CBS, uh -huh. uh, started. It's an incredible place to go anyways. It's right by MoMA. It's 52nd and 5th. Very great location. Okay. Beautiful place. And it's a program that's like an hour and 15 minutes long, and then we're cool. gonna have a great cocktail party reception afterwards. You so can meet fabulous. the speakers. We have um, Lori Stokes from Good Day New York and Richard Louis from NBC moderating the thing. So I can just basically it's gonna hand it cool. over and Wait, say. so where do you buy tickets? So you buy it uh -huh. on foundationforgenderequality.org. So I'll put it up here later, yeah. but it's so important to us. Yes. And we had thought of this event like six months ago before all this, actually, I was laughing because I got this Time Magazine yeah. And it said thoughtful leaders, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Maybe mm -hmm. there's someone in here that I should talk to. I turn the page, and really, it's an ad over Harvey. And here's the thing: it says producer Predator. Yes. <laughs> Back to the pariah. Uh, so maybe he's done the yeah. world a favor at the mm -hmm. expense of a lot of uh, women. I, I don't know. I don't know the expense. Well, all right. So, so uh, moving on to some yeah. interesting news out there. <laughs> um, some things that I've, I'm kind of happy to see. 
the victim, the families of the victims of Newtown, of course you remember this, um, the shooting, are suing Remington, who is the manufacturer of Bushmaster rifles, wow. trying to hold them or these you know gun manufacturers accountable for wrongful death suits. So this is going to be really interesting. This is today in Supreme Court in Connecticut. So kind of stay tuned. We've Do you think that will be copied by other? It would. It would be Las amazing. Vegas and it Texas. Would be, it would and be a sea change mm -hmm. because if these manufacturers are being held accountable, maybe they wouldn't be marketing using these rifles in video games. Maybe it would be, you know, just like we are not allowed to have cigarettes on TV. Well, maybe their advertising would change. Maybe. Maybe. So that's again. I think yeah. it's the same thing. Like it's evolution, and yeah. anything that we can do to maybe right. save some lives or make some lives better. Any steps help oh. at this point. It's awful. Um, you wanted to talk about Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I heard some. Not my I heard favorite. So funny. Oh yes, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some funny news. Uh, okay, so I, I'm a restless sleeper, uh -huh. as I know a lot of my friends are. Uh -huh. And I woke up last night at three, and uh -huh. I click on the TV, and Entertainment Tonight comes on. The first thing I hear is the host saying, you, "There's a picture of Kim Kardashian. Uh -huh. I love talking to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow, so you still have time, everyone. Uh -huh. Tune in tomorrow to find out how her Paris robbery." influenced her new perfume that's coming out and I just started laughing because I, look the robbery was traumatic and yeah, horrible terrible, and maybe terrible. this is lemonade out of lemons or dollars out of whatever it's a perfume isn't it funny though because it's, it's just odd. the marketing yeah like I'm sure she could sell something anyways but I'm, I'm she could thinking, sell anything anywhere what how would your Paris robbery influence your choice of what do you think sense <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't imagine it would be good because I'd be scared to death. I, I don't know. I don't, we'll have to see. I don't but know. So to, I'm just giving you this teaser because I know you all want to know this. I, I have to give the Kardashian, the entire family, credit for creating an incredible business and mm -hmm. being entrepreneurs. And, oh, my God. You know, ha, um, they have an amazing amount of influence. It, sometimes it's a little questionable, but <laughs> I give them a lot of credit. I don't know. So, there, there could be whole college courses on what their whole thing has mm -hmm. done, really, to influence our culture, and so hopefully they do some things that will, yeah. you know, really help, positive. and they'll use some of that positively. The other thing, though, right after that, that uh -huh. was kind of fun, is they showed. <laughs> do you watch This Is Us ever? I love This Is Us. Okay. I haven't seen this season yet, though. So they show the three stars: I the dad, that. who's my favorite, and the so two cute. sons, but they're all so cute. And and they're saying like um, sexiest man alive. I'm like, oh, one yes. of them got chosen. <laughs> so there's a picture of all three of them. They're all just so adorable. So but cute. they're not who's chosen. Going back to Nashville, it's uh -huh. Blake Shelton. Whoa, he's so cute. I think he's. <laughs> are you a Blake or an Adam? Um, I tend to go towards <laughs> Adam. However, mm -hmm. I did see Blake was like, oh, I'm gonna you know stick this to Adam now because yeah. I think Adam won last year, right? Oh, did he? I think he did. They, were, they both were. They're so cute. <laughs> Adorable. They're both so them. cute, and they showed Gwen Stefani saying, "Like I knew I did. Like I knew it was good. Now, whatever." But he's totally adorable. Oh my goodness. So um, something I kind of loved this morning. I was reading that. Do you, have you ever played this card game, Cards Against Humanity? They have no. these kind of irreverent. They're great for dinner that parties. Fun. Millennials love them. A little crazy. So they did a promotion today. They bought a small piece of land where the border wall between U.S. and Mexico. And if you buy the cards, some of the money goes to buying this land. You learn more about it, and it's really set up just to like block anything that'll happen. Or you mean I could buy it, like buying a brick, like I buy foot, you buy yeah. foot, you buy yeah. foot, and then eventually so they're going to make it as impossible as possible as they can through the legal means to build a wall on that little piece of land. Well, do you think that wall's ever getting built anyway? I don't think so. But I, I haven't heard much recently. Yeah. <laughs> but they've already but sold so many, like seventy, like. Yeah. So what kind of question is on Cards Against Humanity? You know, I have not played it. I need to play it. I've, I've heard so much. So it's well, I want to get that. I think, I think I'm going to have to get some on the show. And oh, that'd be really fun. Yeah, next Let's week. do it. We're going to do it. Um, all right. So part of part of the things that I think we need to do as, as you as citizens is be more um, open to and learn about what's happening globally. And there's a couple things that have really happened that are huge. Um, first of all, in Zimbabwe, there's basically been a coup overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, Mugabe, Mugabe is mm -hmm. has basically in in house yeah. arrest. He mm -hmm. and his wife, who's he's ninety three, he's been president for thirty seven years. Mm -hmm. So the coup has just sort of driven in, taken over the town, and nobody's really sure what's happening. But they're saying it's not a coup, so it's a denial. And the other thing that's very interesting is there's a new crown prince in Saudi Arabia right. who's thirty two years old. He's Prince Mohammed yes. bin Salam, yes. and he's consolidated power. Last week, he this is amazing. He he arrested. 11 princes mm -hmm. and 200 very high 
very wealthy businessmen yes. in Saudi Arabia. And didn't he put them in the Marriott or and something? He, it, well, I think he put like them in the, the Ritz. House arrest of the Ritz. Yes. <laughs> the Ritz. <laughs> but he's, he's literally changing uh, the Middle East as we know it. Most people don't really understand this. And in the meantime, this is even more kind of crazy, the Prime Minister of Lebanon, Hariri, flew to Saudi Arabia, announced that he was stepping down from really? being Prime Minister of Lebanon. I don't think I knew that, actually. Yeah, this was last week. And again, most Americans don't really watch well, or follow this. Okay, stuff. is this a positive development, do you think? And is it positive well, for it's, America? Or? It could be destabilizing mm -hmm. in the Middle East, and it's certainly Saudi Arabia consolidated power to, Every move is destabilizing. to um, kind of protect themselves from Iran. Right. So this is a de facto Which kind of big, war against... Yeah. Right. So all of this is fascinating. I just sort of encourage everybody to read the paper and really understand Another what's going real on. Another real-life Game of Thrones, really. Real life. I mean, a, lot's a, a lot is happening. A lot a of lot things of are it. happening with Qatar. Right. Right. And, and the Saudi... Some um, more rights for women, and yet some other... And that prince, exactly. Yeah, he allowed knows. women to drive. Mm -hmm. So there's really interesting things happening around the world. Mm -hmm. So just stay tuned. Be aware. Listen. Um, of course, we love NPR. I listen to WSHU. Um, our local yeah, affiliate, that's awesome. which is awesome. Well, they all, I mean, you know, whether it's of your interest or not, like the whole geopolitical mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. eventually it does matter to you. It matters to all of us. It could just matter mm -hmm. to a stock you bought or exactly. something else. Yeah, so, so just be aware. So next week we have an organization you love or whatever. Yeah. Rights of people. But. Rights of people. So next week mm -hmm. we have a really cool show. Yes, we do. Yep. We're going to be at Cat. <laughs> My mouth is watering. <laughs> Cat Perkins. In Westport, um, she has a pop-up store, our friend Debbie Perkins, she's going to be on the show with us, and also our dear friend Ruthie France, who has Envie's Reserve, and she has um, kind of uh, bespoke, I guess I guess it's the right word, champagnes, or small batch champagnes. So we I'm excited, and it's perfect timing, Yes. so for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the holidays, so I think all of our shows up until the holidays will have some kind of a mm -hmm. theme on how to make your house look better, entertain, gifts to buy, Traveling. of which, by the way, in this store, um, you know, we've, we've been to so such great, great places over the mm -hmm. last few weeks, there are many, many, the jewelry in here, mm -hmm. um, Notice this and the home goods, and the clothes, which seem to be expanding <laughs> yeah, daily, yeah. Are, are really, really pretty, so, fantastic. so we'll show a lot of things, Cat Perkins sure. shoes, Oh, so uh, fun. Are really fun. There's something yeah. really different, but we'll, we'll wait. Well, you have to yeah, watch. we'll tell you all about it. You can see <laughs> and the champagne you can buy mm -hmm. um, nearby so that you can yeah. have it for the holidays. And yes. it's it's really cool. Hopefully mm -hmm. she'll give us some. I think we'll be able to taste it. Nice morning cocktail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all ready for the day. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> all right, everybody. So. Stay well. Stay healthy. Be loving. Be kind, of course, right? Yes, please. Yeah. And go to get your tickets for Man Up at Paley Center. It's um, foundationforgenderequality.org. I'll post it along with yep. these, a lot of these pictures of these gorgeous things. I honestly think it's going to be such a, a fabulous, um, fascinating event mm -hmm. and great networking, great, interesting people to meet. And um, and yay, I'm excited about all this. We're going to awesome. go shopping now. See you later. <laughs> Bye.